Welcome to American RV, and I want to say we love our sisters. We got sister number 8846 here. We do love this camper, a little Sunline. Been a fun build, but this one is done, and it's fixing to head back home. This is what it's all about, the finished product, and uh, this is what we want to share with you guys. So let's check it out. the paint. We picked a uh, two-tone paint job on this, uh, broke it up with a little stripe in the middle, um, replaced the hardware for the door, um, rewired basically so we've got all new electro on this as we walk around, um, put a new lock there, did some markers. One of my famous touches is our coolers. Uh, so if you don't like propane, you want to get away from that, you don't really need that, you don't boondock and that kind of thing, we add a cooler up front so it's cool storage and it's vintage and we custom paint all those coolers to look uh, like the trailer of course. Uh, Safety is always a big thing here at American RV as you see we got our new breakaway. We got a battery control kit that operates that so if this does come off the hitch heaven forbid it will lock up the brakes and uh, stop it from hurting somebody or rolling off a mountain. And we did upgrade the seven way on there so now she has state of the art for the plug and the electrical for the lights and all that. Um, of course, you see the paint job, you see the beautiful rock guard we rebuilt, the windows we resealed on there for. Took out the hot water heater, put a little patch there. Uh, upgraded the water inlet with a brand new water fitting. Got new PEX in there, new water heater, new shower, new black tank. All new walls inside the shower, so it's all waterproof and uh, ready to go. Of course, new axle, new tires, new bearings. Um, in this area, that's where the fridge vent was factory. You've got the inlet and you got the outlet up there. Of course, inlet, we always do our signature fan behind that to keep the fridges cold. We like our ice cream rock hard. We're baking that cobbler at the campsites. We also left the hardware for the shower right behind that. So that way, if they did have a leak or had an issue, need to change out something, they can get to it very easily. Locked off the old heater because guess what? Now we have a brand new Coleman AC unit that also has heat in it. So it's an all-in-one unit. I don't know if you notice this, but this is a 30 amp connection down there. So she does have state-of-the-art electric in this. Got a brand new box, got a brand new plug, all new wiring, all new breakers, all new panels. So that's brand new. Come around to the back, um, sealed all the lights, of course, repainted the bumper, mounted the spare on the back so she doesn't have to carry that in her vehicle anymore. And then let's take a look inside, guys. So we're inside now, and um, the subtle touches mean a lot. So we've got a 
vent fan with LED lighting wired up and of course this is 12 volts so we convert it to 110 struck her a plug up there so that it has a uh, constant power got our new faucet rebuilt all the plumbing up underneath there got her a microwave it's uh, retro looking but state-of-the-art also add a few little touches in here like the plugs over there on the counter so it has functionality and uh, it's actually usable um, one of my favorite things is the bathroom this little teeny tiny trailer has all this room to take a shower and use the toilet we've got all new um, board behind that we've got new shower pan new black tank um, all new pex plumbing all that's all brand new so that's really really cool very unique in a small trailer like this to have that much the sunline really did it right on that we've got a retro fridge in here like i say we actually put a fan behind that to keep it ice cold so that she'll have uh, rock hard ice cream um, behind this door we have the electrical panel like i was saying to upgrade the 30 amp with all new breakers all new wiring um, and a new box um, underneath there we have our hot water heater so she has continuous hot water going through the shower and when she wants to wash the dishes and that kind of thing you see the ac unit now this is the uh Coleman Mach unit um, has heat and ice cold air coming out and it's fully adjustable so you have air coming down, air going to the kitchen, air going to the back. You see the uh, light units we use for this, we put two of those in there. We did paint the whole inside, got a good paint on here so it's going to last a long time. Cleaned up all the hardware, put all that back on, uh, cleaned up all the plugs and all the fixtures, replaced all the uh, sockets in there. So this area was real cool. Um, she wanted a bed area here, which she now has. Uh, wanted to plug up there so she could plug her uh, things in. She wanted a little shelf here so she could store stuff up here. Um, but this is cool. So you can sit here. You can sleep there. Uh, we have panels underneath all this that flip up for storage. We took all the old drawers and made areas where you could store stuff. Of course, all that's painted on the inside. All that's finished out. Uh, that's on both sides. So you can get to things here. You can store things here. You can store things underneath it. You know, in a little trailer, you need all the space, you need all the uh, all the room you can. So we really uh, took advantage of that and made it functional with her design, which was to have a bed, have two sitting areas, um, and then have a little shelf up there where she could store things. So I think we knocked out of the park with that. Um, she seems extremely happy because what all of our sisters, well, all of our customers be happy, especially our sisters on the fly. We love them to death. But uh, this one's going home tomorrow, and uh, we're happy to see her live her dream of camping, camping, camping. That's what we do here at American RV.